Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello and welcome to the session on linear regression using Python. Let's understand what is a linear regression. Linear regression is a machine learning model which tries to predict a value. It can be an integer, it can be a decimal as well. In other words, it tries to predict a continuous variable. In this module, we will learn about two types of linear regression. One is a simple linear regression and the other one is a multiple linear regression. Let's try to understand what is a simple linear regression. Alright, so simple linear regression, it's a type of linear regression where we have one dependent variable and one independent variable. And in this regression model, we try to make a prediction by having a straight line through the points in the scatter plot which we plot against these two variables. Let's try to look in deep what exactly we mean by drawing the straight line for these scatter plots. To understand in detail, let's try to look at a data set. Here we go. This is a data set which talks about units and minutes. This data set is about the computer technicians. The first column or the units means the number of computers a technician fixes and the second column means the number of minutes it takes to fix a computer. So we took 14 records for the technicians where it, he took 74 minutes to fix 4 computers. In other instance he took 64 minutes to fix 4 computers. Sometimes he takes 96 minutes to fix 6 computers and other times he takes 97 minutes to fix 6 computers, 29 minutes for 2 computers and so on. Now the number of units is my independent variable and number of minutes is dependent on the number of units. So this is my dependent variable. In our model we would like to predict the number of minutes a person would take for a given number of units of computer to fix. Alright so now let's back, go, go back to our code. I have developed this code in Jupyter Notebook but we can actually use any tool available in market. Let's go to the code. The first line would be to import all the necessary packages. The pandas and the numpies are mostly used for the data frames and scientific computations on the data. Seaborn and matplotlib is mostly used for the plotting packages. Scipy and the scikit-learn are the machine learning model packages. Once we import these packages, let's try to import the data into a data frame. I do a read, read underscore csv of the data file and I store it in a data frame. Let's now have a look at what kind of data we have. So in order to do that, I first do a computers.head. It gives me the first five records. I understand that these are the number of units and these are the minutes it takes to fix that many units of computers. Next line, I do a computers.info. It gives me the number of rows, which is 14, and the number of columns, which is two. I do a computers.shape. It again gives me the rows and columns 14 and 2 and I'm happy with that. The next step I would do a computers.describe. This gives me the statistical calculations of the data. I get the count of the units, the number of records, the mean of each column. I got a standard deviation 25th percentile, 50th percentile, 75th percentile and the 100th percentile. This gives me a holistic view of the data on which I'm working on. Alright, now let's get to the next step, which actually plots a scatter plot for these two variables. As I said, minutes is my dependent variable, units is my independent variables. 
the standards is to keep the independent variable in the x-axis and the dependent in the y-axis so minutes goes to the y-axis units goes to the x-axis and I do a scatter plot scatter plot for my data frame which is computers this is the scatter plot which I get looking at this scatter plot on the first impression I can get is this has a nice trend which is moving upwards and my linear regression would be a straight line through these points which would satisfy that for any given number of units I would be predicting predicting the number of minutes based on the straight line so I would give some more examples of uh, linear regression let's go through these two data sets here we have some data sets and I'm, this is a straight line which goes through these data sets which means for any given value of X which is not present in the provided data set my predicted value of y will be the point which lies on the straight line same goes over here as well I have some data sets with the which are the blue dots over here and I draw a straight line through those data sets so any given value of X I want to predict will be the value of y on the line for the given value of x so that will be my prediction so basically we see here that linear regression follows the pattern of a straight line and we all know the equation of a straight line which is y is equal to b0 plus b1 into x where b0 is nothing but the intercept and the b1 is nothing but the slope intercept defines the distance in which it cuts the x-axis for here here the example in this example the intercept would be 5 and the slope will be how steep the line is if the line goes a little bit higher the slope becomes higher if the line comes down the slope becomes lower so that is how we define a linear regression so basically for the given points we would like to draw a straight line which would follow the equation y is equal to b0 plus b1x and that straight line would be my prediction for the given set of modules in the next module we will learn about in detail about how to construct the straight line and how to find which straight line is the best fit and I should consider it as my prediction thank you